And also, if you haven't even started anything or you want to come in and school in the United States, there is the F1. The thing you need to look for in F1, regardless of um, what course you're looking at, make sure your course has the same OPT attached. Some people are studying accounting in the United States, but they have STEM OPT attached to accounting because their schools have seen that, look here, this person needs work authorization. So if you're coming in on F1 visa, especially as a student, maybe you're younger, you just want to study, you need to make sure that whatever course you're studying has that STEM OPT thing integrated into it. Because STEM OPT gives you three years, at least, of work authorization. And a lot of people right there while in school, some people come in studying for their PhD. It depends on whatever you want to study. People come in, they get PhD. And the beautiful thing about PhD in the United States is that PhD students get paid to go to school. So if you're if you're a school um, person, you should target the United United States for PhD because you don't need to pay for PhD in the United States. You would get paid to go to school because you would then be a research assistant, assistant lecturer that automatically goes to the PhD student. And so if you're coming in for PhD, I've had people that are in their first second year switch from PhD into EB1 because already as a PhD student, you already have that um, what's it called now that you're an extraordinary that you're an extraordinary, um, you're an extraordinary talent in the um, United States. 